Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And Merry Christmas or Merry Christmas Eve or Merry Christmas the day after Christmas, whichever day I post this. Hope you're having a great time with your family or friends or whatever you may be doing just with yourself. I don't know, whatever it is, just have fun. Today, we're doing a video that you guys, the awesome subscribers I have, which by the way, at the time I'm making this video, we are 20 subscribers away from 19,000. So if y'all could subscribe and hit the like button down below, it would mean a lot and help a lot you do not understand how much just dropping a like actually helps the channel now back to the video like i said y'all recommended i do mods for your truck under a hundred dollars and i'm gonna try to keep it even below that but we will see what we can do and i'm gonna use my truck as examples you can get so stuff you'll see on here under a hundred dollars and then of course if i think of anything else i will definitely tell y'all and also it's pretty windy out here again today so excuse the wind if you do hear any so like i said we're gonna start off in the front of the truck first one being i never see it on anyone's video that i've made videos like this would be a different kind of license plate holder i guess you could call it this was actually chrome before it was like this kind of chrome and i had just sanded it down and painted it over with this and well there's your first thing that'll definitely run you way under 100 bucks probably even under 20 bucks as we move up along the straight line here boom accessory lighting okay now this one is kind of a bigger topic so let's just go with a light bar this is the brand nylite i 100 percent recommend these guys i have not had a problem with this light bar yet and it is definitely super bright i could have all my headlights like i could have my headlights off and just run this thing at night and it's brighter than my headlights and they are super cheap i actually found this set of a light bar 20 inch light bar plus two light pods like 30 bucks with the whole wiring kit and i think i might just have to cop that and i'm gonna put some uh light squares in the bumper and then use the light bar for something else now as we move up on the axis of symmetry vertically once again a grill i can tell you right now especially for the older trucks you can find a grill for under 100 bucks and even newer trucks too now this grill i have a lot of comments about it also and they're asking where i got it i actually got this grill separately from this little emblem as you can tell with this little emblem is super glued in there and it's wired up to turn on that actually is leds whenever i turn my headlights on and it lights up of course whenever my headlights are on so that's another thing some grill inserts so this thing i think was like 15 bucks and it's definitely pretty sick i get a lot of questions and comments about it now as we move up here um i actually don't have one on there right now but you could get some kind of bug guard i actually think i have one in my garage um i actually have like a little like visor thing that goes across it kind of throws the look off on this truck i used to have it on there a long time ago but i took it off because it just didn't look right in my opinion and those are definitely under 100 bucks now we'll move along here yes we'll get to the headlights in a minute but the next thing would be a new antenna i still have not seemed to do this yet i want to get some kind of bullet antenna you know like everyone else has because why not but i still have the stock one on there and i don't even use the radio if i do use it i'm using bluetooth for my phone or plugging it in i never use fm and am and all that stuff or whatever it is now coming back down a little headlights i know there is some stock looking headlights for most trucks that are under a hundred dollars and even some cool looking ones these ones i think ran me post 300 i'm pretty sure correct me if i'm wrong if you have an obs a lot of people run these um halo headlights with the obs trucks so i'm not too sure how much money it is but you can look it up on ebay yourself if you really want to know but headlights for some vehicles run you about 100 bucks now this one is a little different it's not necessarily a mod that comes ready to use you know what i mean but this is paint to paint stuff you know you could paint your springs which i actually haven't done or you could go with the raptor liner frame i actually think it looks super dope as you could just tell though from that it has actually ripped off a lot i'm gonna have to redo it at some point and just do it good and do it right this time so another mod would be get some paint start color matching stuff i'll actually show you something that i have color matched with the oxford white on my truck well that's the white on my truck is this trailer hitch that i do need to actually repaint as you can tell it's getting kind of messed up from the trailer another neat little mod that you can usually do for under 100 bucks especially if you do it yourself is some kind of exhaust tip now, a lot of people kind of overlook this in these videos, but wanted to make sure I hit that in this video. Maybe even a whole new exhaust setup. If you have, you know, scrap metal or whatever it may be, make you an exhaust tip. Now, this next thing is something I'm going to do. Don't know when I'm going to do it, but I will do it at some point. Which is for your leaf springs, get some kind of spike lugs or just any kind of lug nuts to put over the little bolts that come off of your leaf spring U-bolts. Next thing would be these little guys. I honestly forget the names of these, but you can get them for super cheap pretty much anywhere. And my I raptor lined it also 
And as you can see, it is kind of coming off there, but I'm gonna redo those when I redo the frame. And now, moving right above it would be some stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? As you can tell, I am a lover of the stickers. Now, I figured it is rather appropriate to make this video now since, you know, it was Christmas and now you got some money to spend on your beloved truck. And then we'll go to the back here. Sorry for the glare. You could get some new letters if they fell off, which, um happened in my case that didn't used to be there if you watched my videos before it is no longer a board it's a board now like i said moving to the back get you some new tail lights now a lot of people do forget this the third brake light do not forget guys now i have actually seen packages for a little over 100 bucks for tail lights and the third brake light for a lot of trucks actually so you know there's another option for you also Another one, since we were back here and I talked about the hitch earlier, get yourself a new hitch. This one I actually got from a friend of mine or actually a dad's friend. And then it used to be black. And like I said, I color matched it. And now I have something to pull my trailer around that's actually pretty heavy duty. Another thing is a receiver hitch. This is an aftermarket receiver hitch, as you can tell. I think it's a Reese towing receiver hitch. I took the brand off it because it just looked ugly. And then another thing you could get is a different license plate light, either case or just get LEDs for it. Now, be careful with that though, because in a lot of states, LED lights for the license plate are illegal. I just have the halogens or halogens, whatever you want to call them. I still have the stock lights on them just just because I just want to avoid the law. Another thing that you could do for less than a hundred bucks is debadge your truck. Now, as you can see, mine is all nice and clean, except this one guy, because there's actually a hole in there. I'll eventually make my own F-150 badge or you know get a new one but for less than 100 bucks you could get a 3m wheel which i'll probably throw on the screen now you get it you attach it to your drill and you just go along all the stuff after you rip it off and it takes all the gunk off and also you could do to the pinstripe but i kind of like these on here now we will move into the truck but before that you could get some window visors i think is what they call them i had quite a few people ask me about where i got those and to tell you the truth i don't know where they're from they were actually on here when i got the truck from my papa but besides the point Let's move in the truck. I know I'm skipping a lot of things. So if you have any ideas on what I'm skipping, drop down below in the comments so all the other guys can hear your ideas and potentially use them. So we are in my truck now, as you can tell, and I did realize there's quite a bit of glares in here. So once again, sorry for the glares. Now I'm gonna try to make this quick and as simple as possible because I know this video is a little bit on the longer side now. So I'm gonna do a quick run through on all the things I have in here for hundred bucks, or maybe a little more on some things and maybe a little lower on some other things. So boom. First things first, steering wheel cover. Oh God, that is dusty. Next, some kind of phone holder. After that, we could have aftermarket sun things. I'm retarded, what is this called? Okay, it doesn't really matter, but you could get new ones of these or you could do some kind of button things on there. I thought that was pretty neat, actually. I have no idea why, but it's kind of cool. Another thing that I don't have in there that I need to do is um, tint all across here to, you know, make it easier to see. And also a little bit cooler in here because I live in Texas and it gets pretty dang hot. Next, you could do some kind of seat covers. I don't have seat covers in here, but that's another thing for you. Now, I'm not too sure how much this radio was, but I'm going to say it wasn't that expensive. And another idea for you for under a hundred bucks. And as we move down a little lower here, um, if I click this button, these were actually super cheap. You can see lights do come on under here, under here, up here, and up here. Now I can actually change these with the click of a button on this little thing right here. I actually don't use these, but oh yeah, there we go. I'm blinking a little, different colors. Yeah, these are pretty neat. And I'm going to say these were actually probably like 30 bucks or something, so. 30 bucks for some lights. Now, this one is over a, well, actually just a little over a hundred bucks, depending on which one you get, actually. The Starlight Headliner. I freaking love the Starlight Headliner so much and everyone else seems to like it. So I definitely recommend doing this, whether it's over a hundred bucks or not. The next thing would be some kind of stuff hang here on your rear view mirror. Who doesn't do this? Who doesn't have some little trees? I actually need to replace this one because it's not really smelling like a uh, vanilla Rome uh, Corona anymore in here. You could also pick up some new floor covers or whatever you want to call these. I have some here, here, here. And I also have some back here, but you can't see right now because, you know, I have the back seats down. And also, who doesn't need toilet paper? Now, back here is pretty simple. I actually don't really have anything back here that I can 
think of that I have done. But I think I touched on some pretty good stuff in here. That being said, guys, I think I am going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And if you have any more suggestions for anyone else watching this video, drop down in the comments below. And like I said, hope you guys are having a Merry Christmas and or Merry Christmas Eve or the day after Christmas. But like I said, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out.